Hey, welcome to the Learning Fun Show. Today on the show, um, I kind of want to talk to you before we do our daily math practice. Now, some videos that I make, I turn off the comments, so I want to make it safe for the kids. This video, I'm going to have the comments on, but I'm going to check them. So that way, you know, I make sure that there's no bad language on there. But what I want from teachers and also students is that if you have a problem that you want me to include in my daily math practice, write the problem in there. Any type of problem I would love to do and I can put it on the show. Also, um, for the teachers out there, if you have any type of other comments, um, something that you're looking for, shoot me a comment and I will put that into the show. Um, I am a teacher myself and uh, I just love providing um, you know, the education and material for the kids in a fun way. Also, um, on my videos on the end, I like to always make a little bit extra time on there. Um, I add like maybe about 10 or 15 seconds extra time. That way, at the end of the video, you can hit stop because on some videos, um, once they stop, boom, it goes to another video. And, you're, and as a teacher, you're like, oh, no, I didn't want that on my, uh, you know, for the kids to see. So I always like to provide a little extra end on my videos there. Um, but um, like I said, if you have a comment or suggestion, put it down below. Um, I would love to hear it. Or if you just want to say, hey, you know, um, I like your show. Um, I would like that also. Also, I would love it if you would hit subscribe. That helps me out. So let's take a look at our problems of the day. Um, what we do and is I like to have the students get a math journal or a piece of paper and write this out. Or teachers, you know, ahead of time, you could always take this material here and copy it down and make a copy and then provide that to your students ahead of time. Um, but for right now, um, let's get right into the lesson here. We have four addition problems here that I would like you to do. 14 plus 3, 12 plus 2, 15 plus 1, and 16 plus 0. All right. And um, I'm kind of doing a little teacher talk right on this video. And with this math practice, what I'm going to be doing is each day it's going to lead into other things and slowly progress to uh, more challenging problems as we go along. This is going to be like first and second grade level, but as time goes on, I hope to get into more uh, grades and different subjects. Okay, um, enough talk. Come on. Come on, teacher. Get, get going on. Um, this right here, write the number words. So I did an example right here. Here is three, and I spelled out three. T-H-R-E-E. -E. What I want you to do is spell the word one, five, and nine, okay? And then down below, you'll see this circle. This is a pizza. And what I want you to do is, if you got some time, decorate that pizza, you know, put some, use your crayons or color, whatever you want to. And then I want you to divide it into four equal parts because uh, you and three of your friends are going to come over and eat that pizza. Um, and so I want you to divide that into four equal parts. So right now what I want you to do is do this on your math paper or your math journal. Hit pause and when you're ready to go over the answers, hit play again. All right, so go ahead and hit pause. All right, welcome back. Let's take a look at these four addition problems up here. We have 14 plus 3. When I do addition problems, I always love to imagine that the number 3 has three dots. And I always try to put that in my mind. And when I'm counting a number, I kind of almost see it in the air. So I'll go 14, 15, 16, 17. All right. So our answer would be 17. And I like using funny voices. It's just I'm trying to make math fun for you. So we got 12 plus 2. All right. So 12, 13, 14. All right. Our answer is 14. 15 plus 1. You can just use one finger. 15, 16. So we put 16 right there, all right? 16 plus zero. Now, this is a tough subject sometimes because it's like, oh, what do I do there, all right? Remember, it's 16 plus nothing. Zero is nothing. So 
if it's just 16. All right. Awesome. All right, now we have write the number words. So we had three already. Here is one. Okay, so one is spelled O-N-E. Then we have the number five, where we're going to write the word for five, and that is F-I-V-E. And then we have the number nine, so let's write the word N-I-N-E. Okay. Now we have our pizza. Um, I, 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 I'm so curious to see what your pizzas look like. Um, I know on some of my shows you'll see Birdie, and he loves worm pizza. All right, he loves worm pizza, and maybe I drew some little worms in here. Maybe there's some spiders, and you're probably at home going, Oh, I can't imagine eating a worm in spider pizza. Now, we have to divide that into four equal parts. Now, if I were to divide that in half, I would have two equal parts. And half would be a line going all the way down here. You could draw that line going this way or this way. Now I have two equal parts, but I still need to make four equal parts all together. So what I do is I draw another line going horizontal. This line right here is going vertical. This line is going horizontal. Another word for horizontal is you look into the horizon. So horizontal is going this way. All right. Now I have four equal parts. So we can eat our pizza. No, I don't want to eat worm and spider pizza. So, hey, um, hope you had a fun day with me doing our daily math practice. Make sure you check out my other videos. I have a lot of cool educational videos and drawing videos. And like always, have a fun day. Adios.